In this video, let's discuss about this string class in Java. We'll discuss about immutability of a string object and we'll compare string with string buffer and string. Before we get there, we need to understand an important concept called immutability. So, what is an immutable class? A uh, immutable class is one where the content of the class cannot be changed uh, once you have a value in there. So, let's just say I do something of this. So, let's just do the same thing that we had earlier. And let's say str string str is equal to a b. So if I'm doing string str is equal to a b c and then do str is equal to a b c b. str dot transfer b. Let's say we do that. We do this. So I have a string str is equal to abc and I do str dot concat b. Actually what happens with string is once you create the class, when, once you create an instance of that string, you cannot change the value. So what happens when I do str dot concat b is uh, the, a new string is created with a value abc. The existing string which was abc will not be changed at all. So if I actually if you look at it and I do a sys out now and print the value as string. So if I see the so the value which is printed is ABC. It's not printing the value ABCD even though I do a string dot concat. This is what is called immutability. Once you create a string the value inside that string would never change. So that is immutable. Whereas string buffer, if I did string buffer here, and did let's say string dot append. You would see that the value would be nice. If I run this, you would see ABCD printed. Whereas when we ran it with string, it was only ABC. So string is immutable. That is, once you have a value in the string, it cannot be changed. Whereas string buffer is not immutable. You can change the values inside the string buffer. Uh, one difference between string buffer and string builder is that string builder is not synchronized. In the sense that if I'm using it in multiple threads, then string builder will not be a good class to use. Whereas string buffer is synchronous. So string buffer is immutable. Sorry, string buffer is mutable. That is, the value can change, and as well as it's synchronized. And also, uh, when we use uh, a lot of strings, it would have a lot of negative effect on the performance. So if I'm doing a loop and appending ten times in a loop, then if I'm using a string, then it would create 10 different variables. Whereas if I'm using a string buffer, it would be only, string buffer is mutable. So if I'm keeping on appending something to a string buffer, it would not create new objects. It will reuse the existing object. So that's a very important thing. If you're really worried about performance, you should use a string buffer and not a string class. So string class, if you use a string buffer in a loop, that is more uh, that would create lesser number of objects than if you use a string. So those are the important differences between string and string buffer. The value of a string once created will not be changed. So here we have a small piece of code str3 is equal to value 1 str3 dot concat value 2. When you print the value of str3 you would see that the value is still value 1 because the operations which are available on the string don't change the value of the string at all. What they do is they create a new object and it's returned back. So you should create a new string concat is equal to str3.concat value 2 
and get the value of it and then you can print it that's when you get value one and value two so all strings are really immutable um, and also strings are stored in a specific constant tool uh, called string constant tool in memory and a compiler does make an effort to find a uh, string literal from it because the string values cannot be modified uh, if there's an existing thing in the string constant tool the compiler i mean the jvm can find it and return it back to you and it can be reused the different utility methods which are present in string class are length you can find the character at certain position and you can do a twisting on any object and you can do a comparison of equals and you also have a substring method this is the starting character and you can also have a substring from this character to this character so those are the different utility methods which are present